subscribe to Andrio Tech and press the bell icon to get our latest videos. Hi guys, in this video I will be showing you the installation of the CAN Premium ROM which is a Note 7 port for the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Now first of all let's check out the Android version of this ROM and the other things. As you can see the device is named as the Galaxy Note 5 and the model number is SMA9000 and the Android version is Android 6.0 that is Marshmallow. It is a fake Android version, the ROM is built on Android 5.0.2. Now let's check out the camera of this ROM. As you can see the shutter speed is quite good. And now if I have to talk about these mods, once again all the mods are not working in this ROM. The gallery is ported from the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 and the video player is also ported from the Note 7. Now let me show you the music player. As you can see the music player is also working fine. The edge screen is having only two panels that is the people's edge panel and the apps edge panel. Here you can go into the settings and you can keep different shortcuts over here. And in the people's edge tab, you can select different contacts from here. Now let me show you the air command. The air command is ported from the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 and there are not many new features. They are the usual features such as the action memo, smart select option, screen write option, memo, here you can set different shortcuts to apps. Now the most interesting feature of this ROM is the ROM is having the support of face lock. As you can see the device detects my face and unlocks. Now let's move on to the installation of the ROM. Now as you can see the CAN ROM premium which is of 892 MB. You have to download it from the link in the description below. Now let's move on to the installation of the ROM. First boot into your recovery. Now if you don't know how to boot into your recovery manually, press the power button, the volume up button and the home key at the same time. This will take you to your recovery. Now once you are into your recovery, before installing the ROM, you have to select the wipe option and then select the advanced wipe option and then wipe Dalvik system data and cache and at last swipe to wipe. Once you are completed with this step, you can move on to the installation of the ROM. Select the ROM and then swipe to flash. Now as you can see the installation of the ROM has begun and it may take 2 to 3 minutes to complete its install. Now once the installation of the ROM gets completed, select the reboot system option. This will reboot your device. The first boot may take up to 2 to 3 minutes, so don't disturb the process. First, when you boot up with the ROM, you don't get a welcome screen. Directly you will go to your ROM and the language over here will not be English. Now to change your language, just go into the settings and then scroll down till you find this. Go into this and 
and then select your language. Now as you can see, I have successfully booted up the ROM. Thank you for watching my video guys and if you like the video please hit the like button below this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.